everybody, it's Tamika. I am here to share with you guys a, a quick video of what I created for the um, layered banner swap that I am hosting on my YouTube channel. And the quick requirements are um, you had to create three banners, so you were in groups of four, so you had to make three banners um, for each of the other ladies in your group. The banner must be four by five in size. You must have an image or a sentiment on it. You need at least two embellishments, and you have to have at least two layers and each swap should be same or similar. So um, this is what I created. Of course, I'm gonna cut this down. I just wanted to show you how the packaging will be. And um, so this is how it'll come. So the back has just a little something for you, and that's a stamp set that I created with the Cutting Cafe. I will put a link in the description box um, if you're interested in purchasing that. I also use that same stamp set to stamp this swaps for you. So, um, you the recipient so when you guys get this the ladies that are in my group there will be a removable piece it's just it's for decoration but you can reuse it it's going to be a metal piece they will be different um because i only have one of each but it's just tied with a little piece of twine so you can reuse that and then here's my little um tag i use a magnolia die and i just have scrapped the world on the back you can also reuse this lace it will just be tied just in a tie so you can use that if you want and really uh, quickly what I sent for my goodie is just some um, flat back pearls and some lace so they're they're say it and bling flat back pearls look you could tell I've been painting all day um, flat back pearls and then I got a couple yards of lace in here for you guys and then my swap is in this um, um, acrylic box. And I got this at the um, Scrapbook Expo when I uh, went last. So this is just uh, closed with a little bit of washi tape so that this will stay closed. All right. And I think it turned out super cute. Ta-da! Isn't it cute? I love it and for not being in a crafty mood I think I did a good job I did start this over several times um, let me see if I can find some of my other proto prototypes they, I might have thrown them all in trash oh here's one so I started out with uh, Prima, Prima Tales of You with Me paper I was going to do that and then I didn't like it. it was looking kind of downy I didn't like that maybe I whitewashed it too much but I had like three layers and then another painted it so I didn't like that one and then um the other one I was going to use the Prima Lifetime paper let me see if I can find that one really quick and then I threw that away and then I was going to use look Prima Epiphany paper so maybe I did this over four times when I tell you that I don't have the mojo I don't have the mojo um I can't find it but I was gonna do like some hearts and then I was gonna do like a heart pillow on top of that it just look a whole bunch of mess is what it was finally I put it down and came back after a couple days and I was like we have to get this done because the swap is due in a couple days so this is what I came up with and I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous for as many times as, as I started over. So it's 4 by 5 I have corrugated that Michaels board. I cut it twice so there's two layers um, back to back so it could be a nice sturdy banner. I just added some white cardstock to the back. Of course I attached my seam binding. I crippled it up a little bit, attached it so it'll stay behind and, and kind of contained um, with a little washi tape. And then I stamped my Altered by Tamika down here in the back. And as for the front, um, lots of layers on here, so I think I meet the requirements. I used this really pretty digital paper by Knitwit Collections. I printed it off, so um, uh, let's see. Here are some of the papers. So I used two layers. So my, when I say same or similar, mines are going to be similar. It won't be the exact same because I only print out one sheet of each, but it'll be very, very similar. Like this background paper may vary. So this might be the background paper instead of that, which you probably won't be able to tell as much with all the stuff on the front. But it's a really pretty paper. I put it down. I think it's Romance and Roses or something. I printed it off in like November. So I'm going to use that. I used it. And so um, 
So on top of the chipboard, I've crinkled everything and distressed all the edges, whitewashed it just a little bit. And so the plain paper, the solid paper that I have to coordinate it is in the back. And then I ripped some of the edges like on the sides and added like here, here. Just tore some of the edges. This one peels back a little bit. Added some lace behind there for some dimension. And then once I did that, that was just my base. So that's, uh, those layers are just my base. And then I added some um, cheesecloth underneath here. And then I added another little uh, lace that runs through that way, like in a little wave pattern. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I added another layer of the pa pattern paper. Um, it's really faint script paper. Um, I cut it a little bit shorter, as you can tell, and stacked it on top of that. And then I just started layering flowers. These flowers came from my friend Audrey. She gave me those from the Michaels bin. And then a lot of recollections, uh, Michaels flowers, or recollection flowers from Michaels. Iron Roses, Wild Orchid Crafts, some flower stickers from Jolie. I used my Prima uh, leaf dies, Prima leaf uh, die to uh, print or cut out some leaves in the pattern paper and um, some tinsel that I recently got in the Valentine gift set swap. I cut it in half and added that tinsel um, throughout there so it can bring in some of that silver. I used these tiny little uh, buttons, these silver buttons here and here to bring tie in the silver that's with the stickles and all that and um, I added some black flat back pearls up there um, just to create to bring in the fact that I um, went around the edges with a chalk marker to, to uh, kind of bring out the edges because it was just looking like white paper and you can barely see the script so I wanted to bring in a little bit of that um, just bring out a little bit of the black so I etched all of all of the white pieces with that chalk marker I etched some of the flowers edges just lightly touched it I etched this with the um, dye I mean, what do you call that ink memento ink I stamped good morning George Georgia good morning Georgia good morning gorgeous um, and then put that on like a little banner and then hot glue that to there and then finally I finished off with some splatters and my um, paintbrush to kind of finish off and tie everything all together so I think this is a very cute card uh, or not card, pin it, and um, I hope the ladies like it. And like I said, I added these uh, the seam binding so that if they hang it, they have something to um, hang it to. And if they want, if they don't want to, they don't have to because it's tucked behind there, so it's not going to affect anything. You can cut it off, or you can hang it, or you can put it on the stand and then display it. So, so I think, uh, yeah, I think it's super cute, and I hope you guys like that. I was gonna try to video that but I mean it's really self-explanatory and if you didn't get it I explained it so um, let me know if you would like to see one um, I can definitely do another one because it's cute and I can just make one for myself alright guys I hope the ladies in my group like this it was definitely a labor of love and I cannot wait to see what some of the other ladies put into their work I am excited to see all of you ladies pennants and um, stay tuned for the reveal videos coming up in a couple weeks Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you like it. Bye.